Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I'll show you how to add products to WooCommerce. Before I do that, I'm going back to my menus to make a change to the secondary menus. Go to Appearance, then Menus, and select the secondary menu. I'll remove the links that I no longer need in the secondary menu. I'll remove Shop, and I'll save the menu. In the front end, I'll refresh my home page. I'll also remove the cart and the checkout link. I could always put them back later if I choose to do so. Go to WooCommerce, then Product, and Add a product. The first t-shirt is called Pain Cave. According to the Urban Dictionary, the definition of Pain Cave is a grueling physical workout intended to make you a better athlete, usually done at home or the gym. And we call that place the Pain Cave. Under the product category, enter t-shirts and click on Add New Product Category. Under Product Image, select the Set Product Image. Remember the mock-up image you downloaded from Printful? Now you can upload this image as your new product image. As you upload your image, add a title to the image. Hit the Set Product Image button. Next, scroll down to the product data and select the variable product. For the SKU, I'll call it the Pain Cave T-Shirt. Hit Save. Next, you can either publish the file or save a draft. My site isn't live at the moment, so I'll hit Publish or you can save to draft. Next, click on the Attributes. Click on Add Custom Product Attributes and select the Used for Variations option. You'll name it Size because you selected Used for Variations. Under Values, you'll add Pipe Delimited Text for Small, Medium, Large, and XL. When done, hit the Save Attributes button. Next, you'll select Variations. In the drop-down menu, select the Create Variations from All Attributes option and hit Go. You'll see a message. Are you sure you want to link all variations? Yes, hit OK. Four variations are added for each size you created under Attributes. You can now see the four variations. I'll select Small for the first variation. I'll enter a regular price of $18 for my t-shirt. Next item is Medium. The third item will be Large and the last will be XL for Extra Large. Each t-shirt will have the same price. When done, hit Save Changes. I'll publish this page so that I can see my new product. Click on the View Product. Now I can see my new product on my site. The options to select the size are available. Click on the Edit Product link to go back to the editing page. Scroll down to where you set up your variations. For the default form values, select Large and Save Changes. Your default can be large or medium. Go back to the front end to see your product. The selection is automatically set to Large. Go back to edit your product page and select the Advanced option. You can deselect and take 
the reviews off or you can leave the reviews on. After creating a product, go back to Printful and navigate to your store. You can find it under your name's drop-down menu. Under Product Sync, hit the Sync button. There is the t-shirt I created. I have to hit the Edit button to sync with my store. It currently displays how many variants have not been set up, which is four. Click on the Edit button. Click on Choose Product for the first one and click on Clothing, Apparel. Select the t-shirts, then select the Gildan. Select the Model 2000 Ultra Cotton t-shirt. If you recall, that's the same as the t-shirt I selected in the mock-up generator. Select the size XL for extra large. Next, select the black color. Next, under Front, print Select to Choose File. This opens Printful's library. You saved your print file here when you created the t-shirt with the mock-up generator. Select the file. The mock-up file is optional. Since I created a mock-up with the mock-up generator, I'll go ahead and choose the file. I'll select the mock-up file I created and saved to the Printful library. Here you can see the price of this t-shirt is $13. When you're finished, hit Done. You can see the first t-shirt is done. Go to the next t-shirt and click on Choose Product. All the fields except the size will be automatically filled in for you as each next choice is preset. Change the size to large. Since everything is preset, select Done. Next, select the medium item. Change to medium size and hit Done. Next, do the same for the small size and hit Done when finished. Next, navigate to your store and refresh the data. Now, all variants should be all there and synced with your store. You still have a few more settings to do on the Printful side, which I'll cover in the next video.